When Melissa moved into her new apartment, she was thrilled to have found a place in such a great location at an affordable price. As she was unpacking her belongings, she noticed a full-length mirror that was already attached to the wall in her bedroom. She felt a bit uneasy about it, but shrugged it off, thinking that it was just her imagination. But as the days passed, Melissa couldn't shake the feeling that someone was watching her every time she passed the mirror. One night, she woke up to use the bathroom and saw a young girl in a white dress standing in the mirror. Her hair was long and messy, and she had a sad expression on her face. Melissa turned around to see if anyone was there, but there was no one in the room with her. When she looked back at the mirror, the girl was gone. Melissa knew that what she had seen was not just a figment of her imagination. She felt as though the girl in the mirror was trying to tell her something. She did some research and found out that the previous tenant of the apartment had a young daughter who had passed away. The little girl had loved to play dress up in front of the mirror, and her family believed that her spirit still lingered in the apartment. Melissa knew that she couldn't stay in the apartment any longer, so she moved out the next day. She had never believed in ghosts before, but her experience with the girl in the mirror had changed her mind. Before we move to the next story, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Samantha's grandmother had recently passed away, and Samantha inherited a vintage doll that had belonged to her grandmother when she was a child. Samantha loved the doll and placed it in her daughter's room. But one night, Samantha's daughter woke up screaming, claiming that the doll was moving on its own. Samantha didn't believe her at first, but then she noticed that the doll had changed positions in the room. Samantha moved the doll to a different room, but it always seemed to find its way back to her daughter's room. Samantha did some research and found out that the doll was cursed. The previous owner had been a woman who had practiced black magic and had placed a curse on the doll. Samantha knew that she needed to get rid of the doll, but every time she tried to throw it away, it would come back. Finally, Samantha and her husband decided to bury the doll in a cemetery. They dug a hole and placed the doll inside, hoping that they had finally gotten rid of it for good. But as they were leaving the cemetery, they heard a voice whisper, Thank you for setting me free. Samantha and her husband were terrified and quickly left the cemetery. But they soon realized that they had made a mistake. They had buried the doll in an old cemetery where many people had been buried without proper rights or respect. The curse of the doll became even worse, and strange things started happening in their home. Samantha's daughter became sick, and they would hear strange noises and see shadows moving around the house. Finally, Samantha sought the help of a spiritual advisor who was able to remove the curse from the doll. They burned the doll and performed a cleansing ritual in their home. After that, the strange occurrences stopped, and Samantha and her family were finally able to live in peace. A group of sailors were sailing through the Bermuda Triangle when they spotted an old ship that looked abandoned. They decided to board the ship and explore it, thinking that they might find some treasure or valuable artifacts. As they were walking through the ship, they saw strange symbols and markings on the walls. They heard strange noises and felt as though they were being watched. Suddenly, they heard footsteps coming from the upper deck, but when they went to investigate, they found no one there. As they continued exploring the ship, they saw a figure standing in front of them. It was a woman dressed in old-fashioned clothing, and she had a sad expression on her face. The sailors were terrified and ran back to their own ship, but the woman continued to follow them. They finally made it back to their own ship, and the woman disappeared. They did some research and found out that the ship they had boarded was the Mary Celeste, which had been lost at sea many years ago. The sailors never forgot their encounter with the ghost ship and the woman they had seen on board. Thanks for watching.